the IEA works on all types of energy, all technologies with countries all around the world. And one way that we work with countries is to do some really deep dive analysis focused on very specific areas that they're finding extremely challenging. For Georgia, this is about sustainable bioenergy, which is really about sustainable forest management. A significant portion of uh, Georgia's population lives in rural areas. Often they're quite mountainous, and as a result, they don't always have the same kind of access to energy that people that live in the cities do. They have to resort to chopping down trees and using wood as a source of their heating to be able to cook, to be able to have hot water. So in February, we went to Georgia and we went up into the mountains into a region called Racha uh, to meet with a family that had a fairly old stove and they all have to sleep in essentially one room with three beds. This is where they eat and this is their only source of hot water. The forests are, right now, their main source for heating, their main source for energy. And this kind of bioenergy is the second largest source of indigenous energy production in Georgia, second only to hydropower. For people in these rural communities right now, the biggest way to begin the energy transition and to improve their lives is by installing energy efficient stoves that burn less wood, that burn it more sustainably, is going to make the biggest difference both to their lives but also for the Georgian environment because deforestation is a huge issue in Georgia. Uh, soil erosion leads to landslides. It means that these villages actually might not exist in several years if uh, the soil erosion and deforestation keeps getting worse. Every country faces their own specific challenges for the transition and they are going to need a suite of tools, technologies, and policies that they can then apply to their specific circumstances.